Hi, welcome to this Corporate Mouse video. In this video, we're going to look at triangles, and we're going to look at the lengths of the sides of the triangles. So here we've got two triangles, or two sketches of triangles, and we've got a triangle with lengths 5 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 12 centimeters, and a triangle with a length 5 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 20 centimeters. Now, one of these two triangles is impossible, and in this video, we're going to see which one and why. So let's start off by using our 9 centimeter line and our 5 centimeter line and see what happens whenever we make the angle between those two lines larger and what happens whenever we make the angle between those two lines smaller. So let's start off by making the angle larger. So let's move that 5 centimeters and let's move this line. So as we make the angle larger and larger and larger, the, the third length of the triangle will get larger and larger and larger. Also, as we move it around, the length of the line that would join this end of the line to this end of the line will get larger and larger. And the largest it would be would be whenever it's just before a straight line. So just before a straight line, that would be the largest possible length. And then once it becomes a straight line, then it's a straight line. It wouldn't be a triangle anymore. So just to show you, if we have 9 centimeters and 5 centimeters, and then a line joining them, as we make the angle larger between the 9 centimeter line and the 5 centimeter line, what happens is the length of the third line gets larger. And then if we make it even at the angle even bigger, what happens is that the third side gets even larger. And then if you put it in a straight line, then it wouldn't actually be a triangle anymore. So a straight line, if it was a straight line, the length of that red line would be 14 centimeters, but it can't actually be 14 centimeters. So the length of this red line would be anything up to, but not including 14 centimeters. So if we go back to our triangles, whenever we've got our 12 centimeter line, that would be possible. But our 20 centimeter line wouldn't be possible because even if it was a straight line, a nine centimeter line and a five centimeter line, the 20 centimeters would be far too large. So this triangle wouldn't be possible. Now let's have a look and see what happens whenever we make the angle between the two lines smaller and smaller. So whenever we have our two lines, our five centimeter line and our nine centimeter line, as we make the angle smaller between them, what happens is the length of the line joining the two ends of the lines would get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller also. So it gets smaller up until the point is just before being on top of the other line, and then that would be the smallest possible. But then once it's on a straight line, then it wouldn't be a triangle anymore. So let's have a look and see. So if we made the angle smaller, then the red line gets smaller. And then if we make it even smaller still, then the length of the third side of the triangle would be even smaller, but then it wouldn't be possible to have them on a straight line. So the length of this red line would be anything that is bigger than four centimeters. It couldn't be four centimeters because that'd be a straight line, but it'd be maybe 4.1 centimeters and so on. So in terms of the lengths of the sides of the triangles, so what we've just found out is that the length of the third side of the triangle has to be less than what you get whenever you add the other two sides together. And that gives us what they call the triangle inequality theorem. Now, I've never actually learned this as the triangle inequality theorem. I've just sort of thought it's common sense whenever you look at the sides of the triangles that you can't have a side that's far too big. Um, but what it's saying is that whenever you add two sides of the triangle, it has to be bigger than the other side. So A plus B has to be bigger than C. A plus C has to be bigger than B, and B plus C has to be bigger than A. So the sum of any two lengths of the triangle must be greater than the third side of the triangle. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. So here we've got our triangles, and we're going to see which ones are possible. Well, if we add the two sides together, 9 plus 5 is 14. So that means that the other side has to be smaller than 14. So that would work. But in this one here, 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. So that means that this side has to be smaller than 14. It's 20, so that's too big. So that triangle is impossible. Let's have a look at another pair of triangles. This triangle, we've got our sides, and we've got 5 plus 3. Well, 5 plus 3 is 8, but this side's 10. That would be too big. So even if you put the 5 centimeter line and the 3 centimeter line in a straight line, the 10 would be too large. So this triangle would be impossible. Whereas this triangle, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. This side's smaller than 8, so this triangle is possible. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the next question says, the lengths of two shorter sides of a triangle, so the two shorter sides of a triangle, are seven centimeters and 10 centimeters. Which of the following could be the length of the largest side? So we've got our two shorter sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them together and see what the possible length for the largest one would have to be. So we've got seven plus 10. Now seven plus 10 is equal to 17. So that means that the length for the longest side has to be less than 17 centimeters. So it couldn't be 18 centimeters, that's too long. If you had an 18 centimeter line like so, if you had a seven centimeter one and a 10 centimeter one, they wouldn't reach each other. Likewise, the 20 centimeter one is too large as well. If you had a 20 centimeter line, the two, the seven centimeter one and the 10 centimeter one wouldn't reach each other. Now you've got to be careful here. We've now got two options. Now they're both less than 17 centimeters, but let's read the question. The lengths of the two shorter sides of the triangle are seven centimeters and 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters 
is one of the shorter sides. So nine couldn't be the length of the larger side, so it can't be nine centimeters. And our final option is 15 centimeters. So if we had a 15 centimeter line, you could use a seven centimeter line and a 10 centimeter line, and they would join up. So 15 centimeters would be a possible length for the longest side of the triangle. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, Gregory has drawn the following triangle. So we've got 20 centimeters, 29 centimeters, and 50 centimeters. Explain why he must have made a mistake. Well, if we have a look at the lengths of the sides, if we look at the longest one, well, if we do 20 plus 29, 20 plus 29 is equal to 49 centimeters. So that means that the length of the longer side has to be less than 49 centimeters. So that means that 50 can't be the length of this side. So we would just explain that. And that's it. So it's just explained the longer side of the triangle has to be shorter than the sum of the other two sides. So just remember, if you had a 50 centimeter line and you had a 20 centimeter line and a 29 centimeter line, they wouldn't reach each other, they'd just be slightly short. So let's have a look at our last question. Our last question says, two sides of a triangle have lengths of 20 centimeters and 14 centimeters. Write down an error interval for the third side of the triangle, Y. So if we've got two sides, let's call them 14 centimeters and 20 centimeters, let's consider what the smallest possible length would be and the largest possible length for the other side. And in this question, we're not told that this side is going to be the largest or anything like that, it just is two sides of the triangle. So let's consider the biggest possible length for that third side and the smallest possible length. So the biggest possible length, well, if we had this 20 centimeter line, we can increase the angle between them to whenever it's just before a straight line. If it was a straight line, then we would have a 34 centimeter line, but that's not a triangle. So it has to be just slightly smaller than 34 centimeters. So Y has to be the length of this side Y, joining them, Y would have to be less than 34 centimeters. So let's write that down. So Y, it has to be less than the sum of the over two sides. So Y, the length of the third side has to be less than 34 centimeters. So that's one part of the error interval. So now let's consider the smallest possible length of Y joining these two lines. Well, if we make the angle between these two lines smaller and smaller and smaller, so we move, move the 14 centimeter line around to here, so just before being in a straight line, well, this value for Y, so this length of here, would be just slightly bigger than six. Because if you had it in a straight line, one on top of the other, the other length would be six. So if you're making it just slightly bigger, then it would be anything that's slightly bigger than six. So the length of this line Y has to be something just slightly bigger than six. So Y it has to be bigger than six centimeters, but less than 34 centimeters. And that's it, so let's write that down. Y is larger than six centimeters, but smaller than 34 centimeters. So that is the error interval for the third side of the triangle, and that's it. And that's it, so this video has looked at the triangle inequality, the fact that any two sides have to add together to be bigger than the other side of the triangle. And we've looked at triangles that are possible, such as this one, and triangles are possible such as this one. I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, could you please like it? Can you please subscribe to the YouTube channel? And thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.